And uh, would the rainstorm yesterday have had anything to do with it? Possibly. I mean, the elevated moisture anyway, not only from the rain, but also the fact that, you know, the humidity is really high. Dew points are really high, too. That's got a little bit of a bearing on it also. Right. right. So I'm sure they're like, oh, yeah, this is good weather for us. <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> it's actually pretty damn hot. Yeah. All right, we're about 90 seconds out, according to my watch. Okay. Which hopefully is synced to master control time. It's pretty close, as I recall. One minute, all right. Yep, pretty close. Whoa. <laughs> Better take that minute, clean up the pee. Don't start it yet. Happy birthday, America. Welcome to the Southport 4th of July Parade. I'm Gabe Ross alongside WHQR News Director Rachel Lewis-Hilburn. Such an honor to be with you this oh, year. It's such a pleasure to be with you, Gabe, on this gorgeous day in downtown Southport. We're bringing you the 2019 4th of July Parade just as it gets underway live on Moore Street. Absolutely right. Before we get started, we want to acknowledge and thank this year's sponsors, Dozier Memorial Hospital, First National Bank, the town of St. James Jam and 99.9 .9 FM, and of course us here at WECT. Lots of parade coverage to get to, but first, these commercial messages. We'll be back from Southport. Just again, someone needs to give us the nod when we're back. Hold up just a second. Hold up just a second. Hold up just a second for the TV. All right, we're holding the parade up. Welcome back to Southport. Gabe Ross alongside Rachel Lewis Hilburn. And it's great to have you along for the Southport 4th of July parade. You've got the Southport police kicking off the parade, proudly serving the citizens and making a difference one call at a time. Police Chief Todd Corning says they pride themselves on customer service and professionalism, a community driven department with a mission to move forward with integrity and community. And they've got a new bike patrol team with them, if you can believe it or not. 
Uh, Chief Todd Corning took the helm last October, Rachel, as you'll recall. That's right, and South Brunswick High School Army JROTC Color Guard just went by. That there we are. That they did. This year's Parade Grand Marshal, Colonel Heather Carlisle, commander of the 596th Transportation Brigade and Military Ocean Terminal, Sunny Point. That's a mouthful. Each year, the 4th of July Festival Committee selects someone who has served our country. Colonel Carlisle took the helm at Matsu in August of last year. And we're seeing Southport Mayor Jerry Dove in a 1922 Model T fire engine, Southport's first motorized fire engine, also the first mo motorized fire engine in Brunswick County. City of Southport Mayor Jerry Dove says he loves this unit's history and its value to the city of Southport. And the float approaching now, a North Carolina 4th of July festival float honoring Vietnam veterans as the honorary marshals of the festival parade. Over 13,000 veterans in Brunswick County, 6,000 of them serving during the Vietnam era. Members from the Brunswick County Veterans Coalition, whose chairman is retired Lieutenant Colonel Gary Crowden, an infantry platoon leader in Vietnam, along with many others, including his wife, Maggie. Music provided by Jamma 99.9, one of our sponsors. And you could hear that cheer go up in the crowd Absolutely. for them. Next, we have Dozier Memorial Hospital. They've been taking care of patients in coastal Brunswick County since 1930. There's the main hospital in Southport, but Dozier also runs five local primary care clinics, a women's health care clinic, an urgent care, cardiac rehab, and a wound care center. Dozier's proud to be a supporter of this year's North Carolina 4th of July Festival. That you are. Great to have Dozier along with us. The Coast Guard up next. Coast Guard Aids to Navigation Team Oak Island. Their crew of 11 responsible for maintaining more than 400 aids to navigation along the intercoastal waterway from Calabash to Jacksonville, including the Cape Fear River. They also maintain the Oak Island Lighthouse, which stands 180 feet tall and shines up to 24 nautical miles. Incredible. Incredible. It really is stunning. And Gabe, coming up next, you can hear them honking the Vintage Military Vehicles Club. It's a small group dedicated to restoring and preserving military vehicles of World War II, including wow. the 1942 Ford GPW World War II Jeep, which is actually visiting from Corpus Christi, Texas. These vehicles were restored to honor the veterans of the greatest generation, World War II. Oh, check those out. Jay Leno, I think, would have a heyday with these cars. <laughs> Classic car fan, as you can imagine. I think you're right. Understandably so. They're making their way by. Happy Fourth of July to you. Bill Holly, Laura Holly, Gunnery Sergeant there, Jimmy Smith, the U.S. Army as well, as they make their way down the street to a ruckus of applause from the crowd. There is a lot of enthusiasm this year. There, there really is. You know, I've been talking to a few people as we were setting up this morning, and whether you're a first-time parade goer or someone who's been coming for any number of years, uh, it's just the excitement, the sheer enthusiasm they have is easily unmatched. Yeah, someone was telling me this morning, before anyone had gotten out here, there were probably 500 chairs set up just in front of her house. And next, we've got the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office. Mm -hmm. Their motorcycles coming up. And of course, they are It's gotta feel escorting. good on a hot day like this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those helmets, I don't even want to think about it. We're the lucky ones, Gabe. Oh, exactly. And this is Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest here with us. He's held the Lieutenant Governor seat since 2013. He is the second highest elected official in the state, and believe it or not, the only elected official to have powers in both the legislative and executive branches of the state government. Great to have him here. And he's brought a cadre of supporters wearing Dan Forrest Lieutenant Governor t-shirts. Keeping it cool in this hot July heat. That's the way to do it. Understandably so. The other escorts with him as well, of course, his protection. And oh dear, I hear a drum line coming well <laughs> off in the distance. <laughs> and this harkens me back to my band days. What did you play in the band? I was, I was in the drum line. So of course, really? as I hear the drums walking down the street, right away I start marking time. We've got Brunswick Sheriff County Ingram. Sheriff John He's W. Here. Ingram the fifth. I hope you heard that, Brand. Happy birthday from He's Sheriff Ingram. Just wish senior. that to you. 
senior law enforcement officer. He, along with over 265 employees, more than 200 volunteers, work to maintain the security and safety of Brunswick County residents and visitors. He's wishing everyone a safe and happy 4th of July. And Chief Deputy Charlie Miller is with him today, of course. All right, well, here comes the band. The audience is clapping away. This year's Brunswick County Schools Parade Band consists of students from South and West Brunswick High Schools under the direction of Jonathan Moore and Jason Seip. The Brunswick County Schools Parade Band says they're honored to show their support for the community and our country and honoring America's independence in the North, of, in the North Carolina 4th of July Festival Parade. Here they go. Here comes the cadence. enough to get those butts moving. There we go. Takes a lot of effort, a lot of stamina to keep your cool marching a parade in the hot July heat. How, how do you, they stay synchronized? Yeah, uh, you're marking time left, right, left, right, just like you would in the military. Just that easy. Hey, here's Miss North Carolina 2019, Alexandra Badgett. She's from Denver, North Carolina. She earned the title just last month representing the city of Jacksonville. She's earned over $20,000 in scholarships from her participation with the organization. A graduate of USC with a bachelor's degree in business administration, her social initiative, Nine, No Is Not Enough, aims to deepen the message of the anti-rape anthem, No Means No. As Miss North Carolina, she plans to implement an epic marketing plan stressing the importance of education, preventative measures, public policies. She'll represent the Tar Heel State in the Miss America competition coming later on this summer. And we, that was also nine-year-old Elin Lockhart. She's been taking baton lessons for seven years, wow. so it was good to see her. Incredible. Carly Sanderford was crowned Miss North Carolina's Outstanding Teen she 2019 was. on April 14th in High Point. Carly is the 16-year-old daughter of David and Kelly Sanderford of Clayton and a junior at Corinth Holders High School. Carly competed in interview, talent, fitness, and evening gown on stage questions to earn the crown, which came with a $5,000 cash scholarship and an in-kind scholarship to High Point University. Carly's platform is Show the Love, Caring for Orphans Around the World. She advances to the Miss North, Miss America's Outstanding Teen Competition in Orlando later this month. Very much a big deal. We wish, we wish her the best of luck in that. Southport Historical Society eventually making their way. Here's North Carolina Secretary of State Elaine Marshall. Happy Fourth to you, Elaine, in 1996. She became the first woman ever elected to a statewide executive branch office in North Carolina. And this woman has done everything, a champion for child welfare, women's issues, agriculture, and small town economic development. The American Legion Post 543 is relatively new, entering into its seventh year of service to active duty military personnel and veterans. The Richard H. Stewart Jr. American Legion Post is in the southeastern corner of North Carolina serving veterans from Bolivia, Boiling Spring Lakes, sections of Shalotte, Southport, St. James, Supply, Winnebo. Check out the truck. Yeah. That's Isn't that cool? Vintage World War II, owned by George Willis and was actually used in the European theater in the Second World War. Isn't that stunning to think that that was actually part of the battle? That was, that's a rolling piece of history that you're seeing, yeah. folks. We'll watch as it rolls on through your monitor here. Check that out. Incredible. <laughs> District 9 Vice Commander coming in behind them there. Happy 4th of July, folks. Good to see you. Richard H. Stewart, Jr., American Legion Post, 543. Got some more members coming through. Waving Look at all old those glory. Smiles. Despite All the smiles. Heat. Good to see you, folks. All right. Next up, is this the CB Veterans of American Islands times five? That's right. I sure hope so. Com commander Bill Sarver, a World War II veteran and past North Carolina state commander. The active community island focuses on building ramps for veterans. Yeah. There they are in their blue, all decked out. The flying bee. Good to see and you, the folks. the crowd is singing along. They are. It's the 4th of July. You've got to have some yeah, fun with it, Of course that, right? you do. Next, we've got the Traveling Vietnam Wall of North Carolina. The wall lists 
1,615 names of people who gave the ultimate for our country. All those on the wall, Gabe, are actually from North Carolina. The float was built through donations, and AMVETS post 906 tells us all current donations go towards the upkeep of that wall. AMVETS is a national veteran group open to all veterans with an honorable discharge and those on active duty. And as we roll through a very familiar tune, the State Port Pilots Float, the town's local newspaper. It's had a float featuring local musicians now for the second year. Now, you may remember Ed Harper, its editor for 46 years, who passed away last November, had a love for live music. And in his memory, the paper wanted some local guys who Ed enjoyed hearing to play for parade goers. They are doing so today. Makes you want to sing, touching you. I won't sing, don't worry. Such a good way to remember Sweet Ed Harper. Caroline. Here we've got. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> All right, sorry, folks, you're not here. You're not paying to hear me sing, that's true. Uh, of course we are. <laughs> State Superintendent Mark Johnson was elected. In 2016, his career in education started at West Charlotte High School. He graduated from UNC Chapel Hill Law School. Superintendent Johnson served as a member of the Winston-Salem Forsyth County School Board, and he was legal counsel at Winston-Salem based Inmar. Having served as a teacher and education leader and father of a young daughter, Johnson says improving education in North Carolina is a personal mission. Right behind him, Bill Rabin, North Carolina Senator for District 8, a partner at Brunswick Animal and Southport Animal Hospitals. Don't forget Oak Island Animal Hospital. Hospital. Hard to say, right? Past member of the Brunswick Community College Board of Trustees, past chair of the North Carolina Navigation Commission, as well as the Brunswick County Board of Health. The Brunswick Town chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution now here with us. Founded in 1890 with the mission of promoting historic preservation, education, and patriotism, the organization membership limited to direct lineal descents of soldiers or others of the revolutionary period who aided in the cause of independence. Here they come riding on their golf carts, all decked out in the red, white, and blue. I love the patriotic pinwheels. You can't go wrong with pinwheels. Everyone's like, yeah. ah, are pinwheels too much? No, the more pinwheels, the better. That's what I say. Great to see you, ladies. Frank Eiler is North Carolina's state representative for District 17, which is Brunswick County. He came to North Carolina when he was 14 and graduated from Greensboro Senior High School and Campbell <laughs> University. He's they chaired the Brunswick County Republican Party, 7th Congressional District Republican Party, and <laughs> served as precinct chair. Frank He's Eiler just asked me for no rain. I, I, ca <laughs> I can't make promises, but I'll do my best. I think right now we're doing well. Southport Fire Department's here, Tanker 373 blowing its horn in the background. The newest addition to the fleet, it took delivery in May. This unit serves as a tanker and an engine carrying 2,000 gallons of water as well as foam. And it rides six firefighters, and in this case, some family along the way too, and some clowns walking alongside. Happy Fourth to you. Gabe, we've got a fire prevention clown troop serving the citizens. They teach fire prevention to people of all ages. The team is made up of several firefighters who dedicate their time teaching the importance of fire safety. You know, of course, they're having fun, but, but they see the worst of the tragedies. And they say this allows them to teach safety to citizens and hopefully they say make a difference and save a life. The Southport Fire Prevention Team. There you go. And then of course, we've got Stephen Siller Foundation. Mm -hmm. They're right in tow and behind them, we have Military Appreciation Day, sponsored by the Southport Oak Island Area Chamber of Commerce. The Southport Chapter of Military Appreci Appreciation Day sponsors a day once a year on which volunteers take active duty troops out fishing the entire day and cook out afterwards, are free to the troops and families thanks to donations and volunteers. The annual event is the second Saturday of every September and aligns with the City of Southport's Military Appreciation Day. Great to have them in the 4th of July festivities this year. We've got the Civil Air Patrol Brunswick County Composite Unit founded December 1st, 1941. Civil Air Patrol is a public service organization that conducts, conducts air and ground emergency service missions. A total force partner of the U.S. Air Force, its volunteer members perform disaster relief, search and rescue. They develop youth leaders through the CAP Cadet Program, promoting aerospace and STEM education. In their cadet program, young adults from ages 12 to 21 can learn about leadership skills, including integrity, respect, excellence, and volunteer service. Cadets also learn rocketry and search and rescue skills, and they have opportunities to fly and progress towards their solo pilot's license. 
Adult members in CAP work with cadets and assist the Air Force by flying missions for search and rescue, aerial photography, and disaster relief. And again, it's always impressive to see folks be able to march, especially in long pants in the heat. Yeah. The blues, I'll tell you, they do, you do such the a great job. What do you think the temperature is about now? Temperature now is at least in the upper 80s. I don't have my phone out with me, of course. We're in a broadcast. And but it feels every bit of it. Yes, the heat index. Oh, it easily in the 90s, if not just pinging the triple digits. But keep it cool up at the top of this truck. See Ashley Gore. You see her there, district court judge. She'd like to wish everyone a happy and safe 4th of July. She's proudly served the people of Brunswick, Columbus, and Bladens counties since 2017. She enjoys participating in the Southport festivities every year. Judge Gore lives in Whiteville with her husband, Brad. Wish you happy 4th of July. This is really special, yeah. the adventures of Matt and Mitch. They have a YouTube page of Matt who has special needs with his best friend, Mitch. Matt helps raise money and volunteers his time to help others like him. And, and it's to bring awareness to the can-do attitude and the no limits for our special needs community. Matt has cerebral palsy and he's yeah. deaf. Before Matt met Mitch, he would sit at home watching YouTube and he didn't get to do the things he loves. And now he can. Uh-oh. I We've think been, we have a Oh, my goodness. Us. We've been overrun by clowns. Hey, 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 Happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Day to you, my friend. Always great to be here in Southport. Oh, it always is. Y'all have a good day. Hey, you, you too. too. Take care. You got the Sudan done clowns. They're here with us. They've appeared in numerous parades here throughout North Carolina, and they're having a great time, no doubt. They've won numerous awards. Last year, they participated in the International Shrine Convention, winning first place in Daytona, Florida. And if this isn't enough to get you up and out of your seat, well, <laughs> you should probably reevaluate your life goals, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're having my such man. a good time. <laughs> I hope my hair doesn't wind up like that. I have to use a lot of glue to keep what I've got on the top of my head. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, not me. No, Rachel. Okay. I thought he was asking. Uh, I thought he was asking <laughs> he for my number. I was going to be very flattered. Well, yeah. you've got that going, Rachel. Good job. <laughs> oh, and there's, uh, there's somebody coming along at the end. Oh, well, I mean, there's always one. And, yeah. There's always a one. Couple. He's got a bump along. But they take oh, care of each he's, other. He's five cups. Does that mean so he's, he's uh, five sheets to the wind, five cups deep? I don't know what that means. And uh, lucky for but them, they're just clowning totally around, like they say. Totally unrecognizable. <laughs> Oh, Sudan's my goodness. Sudan's done clowns. They're done clowns. And they Dung are going to fall over if he's not careful. Oh, thank you. God bless you. And oh, next thank we've you. got Brunswick County Commissioner Pat Sykes. She was born and raised in Southport. She's been coming to the parade for years. She says she loves being active in the community. She loves our independence, and she appreciates the men and women who serve and the ones that sacrificed for our country, and she wants to continue that independence. I heard Mike Forte. Brunswick County Commissioner for District 4. He wants to wish everyone a happy and safe 4th of July. Commissioner Forte, good to see you. A We've got the city of Southport. The Southport Visitor Center volunteers. They are the backbone of the mm -hmm. city. From welcoming visitors from all over the world to making the city beautiful, volunteer groups are what make Southport a special place to live and visit. And the city wants to offer a special thank you to all of Southport's volunteers, including those from Fort Johnston Southport Museum and Visitor Center and the Beautification Committee. Riding with the volunteers are members of the Southport Board of Aldermen. Hey, it wouldn't be a parade without a fire truck. Oak Island's fire department being represented. This is one of four identical engines you're seeing. Heavy rescue certified at paramedic level in response to fire, rescue, and EMS calls. Staff 24-7, 365 with cross-trained firefighters, paramedics, and rescue techs. It's equipped to handle any emergency situation dedicated to protecting the citizens and visitors to Oak Island. Engine number 174. Oh, it's the Sudan Animated Animals. Yes. They formed in the 70s, 1976, to help raise money for the Sudan Shriners Hospital. Today, there are 22 hospitals in the U.S., Mexico, and Canada. The Animated Animals is a member of the Sudan Shriners. Now, it's so fun to see them, but a, how do they do a, this? A face, a face you can't help but love. Oh, yeah. So great to see you. And suffering fuck attack. <laughs> Good to see you guys. It's Clifford, Clifford the, big the Big Red Dog. Oh, yes. This takes me back to my PBS days. Oh, so good to see you. <laughs> Hi there. Good oh. to see you. Oh, my so goodness. Great. We got Mickey Mouse. <laughs> oh, so oh. good to see you. Yeah, be, watch your step. Gorilla Man. He's oh. always been a little scary to me. Good to see oh, you. Oh, but he's oh, friendly. Get the mugs. Okay, we'll get the mugs. All right. 
It's bugs in my hair, apparently. <laughs> We're good now. We're all clean. Did you give him a snack? I, I, I thought about it, but uh, I don't know how well granola works on the gorilla diet. Well, I was so. thinking the bugs in your hair. Oh, that would yeah. also... That. I have granola bars, too, so that's that's a good fun <laughs> fact for you here. <laughs> Sarah Shaw, 2019 Miss Brunswick County. She's the 18-year-old daughter of Don and Teresa Shaw of Leland, a sophomore at Campbell University. She plans to finish graduate school or and, and earn her doctorate in physical therapy. She's a member of the theater department and the exercise science club at Campbell, also a certified nursing assistant. She enjoys dancing, singing, reading, and spending time with her family. Her platform as Miss Brunswick County is the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, and it's great to have her alongside. You see as she waves to the crowd, yeah, smile from ear to platform. ear. Absolutely a great platform. We wish her nothing but the best going forward and hope that her mission is a successful one as she continues to embark on that. Yeah, and just behind her, we've got Stella Bardo. She's the 17-year-old daughter of Rhonda and the mm -hmm. late Malvin Royster of Southport. She's a junior at South Brunswick High School. Stella is the captain of South Brunswick High School's dance team. She's been a competitive dancer since the age of six, and she currently takes dance at Studio One Dance Conservatory in Wilmington. She's mm -hmm. just come home from Vietnam and Thailand. And with she's her coming into your frame right now, folks. Club. There she is. Love to hear about that trip she just took to Vietnam and Thailand. Oh my goodness. And you what imagine? kinds of things they studied there. Always a good recommendation to get overseas at least once, see another culture, get yeah. some experience in there. And behind Stella is Patsy Lanier. She's the 2018 Miss Brunswick County Christmas Queen. Because, you know, Christmas in July. Why not? Very important, right? The 18-year-old daughter of Mike and Lisa Lanier of Leland, a senior at South Brunswick High. She just returned from a mission trip to Guatemala. She enjoys cheerleading, singing, hunting, art, and taking pictures. She also enjoys volunteering in the community, especially at kids' events. And, of course, being the, qu the Christmas queen, she loves Christmas, right? <laughs> Happy Fourth and Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> she is going with the patriotic color scheme, though. Of course. For the most part. Red and white are Christmas colors, so we'll at least give her that, right? Yeah. And we've got... Right behind Miss Brunswick County Christmas, Patsy Lanier. Mr. and Miss Brunswick County and 2018 Brunswick County Christmas Queens. Mm -hmm. The current title holders want to thank Mr. Jim and Becky Hedgecock of Southport for donating the boat and pulling them in the parade. These folks volunteer their time in the community all year. They also enjoy entertaining at events throughout Brunswick and the surrounding counties. On the boat, we've got Alexis Hewitt, Christina Reed, Kay Best, Shania Lloyd, Vicenna Harold, Millie Scott, Kaylee Crisco, Ava and Adam Weaver, Peyton and Haley Britt, and Paige Williamson. Pardon me, boys. Is that the Sudan choo-choo? Again, me with music. It's the 4th of July. Let it slide, folks. The Sudan Choo Choo here, first organized in 1988, a nonprofit unit participating in several parades locally and as far away as Florida. Their goal, they say, to support the Shriners Hospital, especially the Greenville, South Carolina unit, to help children with disabilities live a normal life. Happy 4th to all of you. The Choo Choo goes by, the Next Citizens Patrol comes up. Brunswick County Sheriff's Office. They're represented with the voice car which is Volunteer Observers Impacting Community Efforts, APS, which is the Animal Protective Services in Supply, where you can go to pick out your forever friend, mm -hmm. the Sheriff's Airboat, and an office float with those that work at the Sheriff's Office and their families. And this float we see coming up is sponsored by American Fish Company and Frying Pan Restaurant, who donated money for this year's North Carolina 4th of July Festival fireworks. And that was a big deal this year. Mm -hmm. They expanded the budget. It's going to be an enhanced show. I'm very excited about it. I can't wait. I was talking to Mary Ellen earlier this morning on Carolina in the Morning, and she mentioned that right along the waterfront, the best place to see the fireworks, hopefully you all can make it out down here to Southport, support the community at the same time. All right, next in line, you don't want to mess with these girls. They're the Cape Fear Roller Girls. They're the area's premier women's flat track roller derby league made up of strong, independent women of all ages from all walks of life, priding themselves on providing quality, entertaining, and family-friendly 
family friendly sporting events that benefit the entire community. Learn more about them, CapeFearRollerGirls.com. You know, I've had the honor of uh, working with them at a couple of local wrestling events. And I'll tell you what, these, these ladies are true stars, true entertainers do a lot of good for the community, very entertaining. Great to have them here in the Southport Parade this year. And they got some good jams on the back of their float too. Hopefully not seeing any of that here before the parade is over, <laughs> thunder. They've got it made in the shade, those folks on the oh, float. Oh, they do. <laughs> good to see you, throw us some of those umbrellas. We would appreciate, it. no, they can take the umbrella, of course. Ooh, there's a split you'll never see me do wow. in my life. Ooh. I cringe thinking about that. <laughs> Whew. Good to see the roller girls as hey. they roll away their associates as well. Next up, the Wilmington's Residential Adolescent Achievement Place teams up with d and &E Mitsubishi to present the second annual Cruising for Kids charity car raffle fundraiser. They're raffling off this year a 2019 d and &E Mitsubishi Mirage. RAP, Wilmington's Residential Adolescent Achievement Place, has joined forces to provide financial stability for nonprofits and community-based organizations. And of course, if you want to get tickets, you can visit ncrap.com. First National Bank, born in the USA, one of the region's leading full-service banks, committed to residents and businesses for more than 150 years, regionally headquartered in Wilmington, f and is more than 25 locations in its eastern North Carolina region. They say their products and services are delivered by local employees with local decision making. They also say they give back through financial support and education, diverse community development initiatives, partnerships with local organizations and employee volunteerism and leadership. The Honorable Craig Castor is up next. He's Mayor Castor is serving his third term for the city of Boiling Spring Lakes. Before his time as mayor, he served eight years as commissioner and he's a Vietnam veteran, having served in the U.S. Navy. Boiling Spring Lakes is a growing community of families and retirees that's just north of Southport on Highway 87, part a, of the community here. A great community. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, at least it's not raining, right? Mayor Castor saying thanks for the hot sun. It's good to see you, folks. Oh, goodness. That's, that's a beautiful car. That's a Thunderbird. That's a classic Thunderbird. What year? A 1960 Thunderbird. Wow. Oh my goodness. We should. We need to borrow that for Highway 6 sometime. That'd be, ooh, wow. beautiful. All right, we'll keep that in mind next time. Good to see you, folks. We've got Mayor Sin Brochure of Oak Island up next, wishing everyone a fun and safe 4th of July while celebrating freedom, togetherness in the USA. She says, let's Happy all enjoy the festivities and you let's too. remember our shared American history and the meaning of the day, which is what I love about this day, Gabe. It's just a time for everybody to come together. Folks from all walks of life are here enjoying the parade festivities. The folks from Duke Energy here as well, Southport Wooden Boat Show. Now the Duke Energy Brunswick nuclear plant has been safely generating clean air electricity for over 40 years. Employee volunteers, the employees volunteer each year, I should say, to make the Southport Wooden Boat Show a success this year. The show is set for November 2nd, so put that on your calendar. The Brunswick nuclear plant generates carbon-free electricity. Employees at the plant are dedicated to the safe operation of the plant and are often involved in community volunteer events, including helping to protect Masonboro Island, educating young people, parenting sea turtles, nests, and helping wildlife. Duke Energy says they're very proud of the contributions of their employees to build stronger communities and you could win that boat. There's an excited group of kids over there. They're That's fun. They want you to win that boat. Yes. That's what they want. The town of Caswell Beach, we've got the Honorable Deborah Allers, and they're wishing everyone a safe and happy 4th of July. She's looking great, decked out in a red, white, and blue shawl. Keeping cool as well, you know, that light fabric kind of helps whisk away a lot <laughs> of that heat. Can't blame her. Jean Toner, behind her, the mayor of the town of St. James, celebrating its 20th birthday on July 1st. Wow. So 20 year old community this year. Grown to just under 6,000 residents. Great to see you, Jean. Here we've got the Experimental Aircraft Association, Chapter 939. It's a, it's a nonprofit, a 501c3, dedicated to promoting all aspects of aviation, as well as encouraging the non-flying public to come out to their local airport, the Cape Fear Regional Jet Port, mm -hmm. to participate in EAA outreach programs. 
From young eagles to eagle flights, the Ford Tri-Motor to the B-17, come out to the airport, they say, and let your dreams take flight. And there it is on their sign. How intricate that design is. Yeah. Check that out. Makes you want to head right to that jet port. There's Trisha Howarth. She's the festival's president this year, helping us out in a big way, running around behind the scenes like crazy. But she does a great job. She does, and she's got bubbles. Hey, you can't go wrong with that. Bubbles on the 4th of July. Murica. That's all I have to say about bubbles. Murica, <laughs> folks. Great to see her. Yeah, she's really made the rounds today and, and spent a lot of time educating us about the history of the 4th of July in Southport, which goes back a couple hundred years. And next up, we've got Brunswick County NAACP 2019 Mother of the Year, the lovely Tammy Jenkins, married to Leonard Jenkins. This is the 56th year honoring Brunswick County's Mother of the Year, and this will be their 30th Freedom Fund banquet on August 17th. She thanks Pastor Charles Jacobs for the use of his truck unit. She also thanks Mr. Matthew Digogia and Mr. Otis Mapson for the decorations. And check out those decorations. They are looking sleek, the blue and the gold. Yes. It fits in very well with the red, white, and blue, folks. And she looks like she's having a oh ball. Yeah. This is her day. Absolutely is. Got some live music on the stage. Great to see Tammy Jenkins. Happy 4th of July to you. Great to see you. Great to see you, folks. All right, here comes the Maritime Museum directly behind Ms. Jenkins. The museum here at Southport collects, preserves, interprets the maritime history of the Lower Cape Fear. Each year, the museum chooses a different time period to showcase during their annual living history program in September. This year, the museum will focus on maritime life aboard Union and Confederate vessels. Artillery demonstrations on the Garrison Lawn, including hands-on history around the grounds, will make this a family-friendly event for everyone. Many of the museum staff are dressed in period clothing, and colleagues from around North Carolina are dressed as Union and Confederate soldiers. Great to see them here. Yeah. And next up, we've got the good folks from Thai Pepper's Restaurant and Sushi Bar. They've been in downtown Southport since 1992. Wow. They are almost directly across the street from us, mm -hmm. right here on Moore Street in downtown Southport. And Gabe, if you haven't had the pleasure of going to Thai Pepper's, mm. It's a, it's a great place. I feel like I've got to check it off the bucket list. Mary Ellen telling me another one of those spots you have to hit while in Southport. So give me your business, folks. Yeah. I'd sure love to have it. The bubble's going with the red, white, and blue. And a beautiful Jeep Wrangler. Thai peppers and Jeep Wranglers. Can't get more American than that, I'll it tell you. It really doesn't. <laughs> All right, Cape Fear Chapter of Antique Automobile Club of America. It's an antique automobile organization representing vehicles 25 years and older. I think some of these very easily fit that description. <laughs> uh, they strive to preserve antique automobiles, generate interest in them through this club. They say they're a very family-oriented group and enjoy answering questions regarding old cars and trucks. Can you imagine just the questions to have about these? These, by the way, don't come with... Uh, Siri or Bluetooth connectivity. <laughs> These are as classic <laughs> as you get as far as cars go. Ap I will let her know that. And he's got some characters coming out the back of his. He does. Not entirely sure what that is. It looks like the shark caught a flamingo. You know, given the black and white nature of it, I thought it was Free Willy for a second. Oh, it's eating a, a flamingo. I don't know. The it's sharks are eating no, it the is. flamingos okay, it is. Okay, it in is. the cars. And these guys have the flamingos. Ah, that would make sense. Too soon for shark stories, though? That's the question. <laughs> More classic cars rolling their way through a downtown Southport. Check these out. An F-100 Ford from New Jersey. It's got the plates. Complete with the fuzzy dice and everything. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not a classic car without fuzzy dice, of right? Course. In fact, I had a 1995 Honda Odyssey. That was my very first car, and I had fuzzy dice. Because, you know, when you're 16 years old, fuzzy dice are really cool to have. Did you? A Stingray. Wow, look at that. Woo. 
Coming up, a veteran of the United States Air Force, 62 to 66. And then who do we have here? The Sudan Roadsters. They're coming by. They're doing their acrobatics here. Created in 1990 with 20 active members in the unit. You know, I'd be, I, I wonder if they get pulled over, do they have to display license, registration, <laughs> and proof of tiny insurance? I mean, it's gotta be half price, I'd imagine. Some kind of half price insurance, who knows? Zero room for error, and of course there's one that brings up the rear, right? I think he had to stop for gas. I don't think gas prices have been that bad. <laughs> the precision is really incredible. It is. They do a great job with that every year. And of course, there's one that's got to be towed. Yeah. Well, Always one. You know. Vehicle problems happen. <laughs> if on. it was perfect, it wouldn't be interesting. Of course. Of and course. That's from, they're from Samson, Samson County. Samson County. We're always glad to see them. Right there. Hey, check these guys out. Margaret Rudd and Associates. Three entries coming here. They're realtors turning visitors into locals since 1981. They rent, list, and sell some of the area's hottest properties. Check them out at rudd.com. Margaret, one of those people keeping cool amongst the float, but you see the associates, their families all on board the float. We heard a rumor she was going to be on a trike. We and did hear that rumor. But they might have bailed on that idea given the heat today. That's true. Oh, no. No, you see she, it. It's in the very back. She is coming up. I think next so we'll we've got Kay Jolliffe. She's yep. coming up with Dylan and Elena Roberts in her iconic VW Bug. We love to see them every year. They have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. You can stop by their downtown office that's just a block north of here on Moore Street in Southport. Pick up an area map. They can point out area attractions if you're a visitor mm -hmm. here. And, of course, they've got some great waterfront properties available. That they do. Behind her, Elvira Gilbert. She's a realtor, happy to celebrate the 4th of July in Southport, listed and sold real estate in the area for 17 years, a top selling listing agent with Margaret Rudd, a full-time broker, and happy to give you the customer service you deserve, wishing you a happy 4th of July. That is a tiny car. I'm just, I'm <laughs> just compared to some of the others, you said that is, that's not just a compact, that's a compact compact yes. car. Yeah, do you know what kind of car that is? I Can have you read the medallion on the I front. I think is that a Fiat? I'm my vision is terrible folks and I'm wearing sunglasses so bear with us here. <laughs> and they've they've squeezed two people in. We're at a stopping point here. But hey, let's focus on uh, on Margaret. There's that trike we were talking about. A beautiful trike. And she is decked out with the helmet, the patriotic helmet, mm -hmm. the patriotic bows and ribbons and streamers, wow. Keep it cool in the trike. You see the crowd not letting the heat get to them whatsoever as the floats roll on by. Next we've got Whew. Martin's Auto Rebuilders wow. and Martin's Alignment. They're on Long Beach Road. They've been serving the Southport area since 1988. They say the thank, they thank the many customers who put their trust in Martin's Auto Rebuilders and Martin's Alignment. They have a new location now at 125 West BSL Road. It's now open. They say have a safe and happy 4th of July so you don't wind up in one of those. Right, that's, that's the kind of paint job that would wake the dead. It's good to see you <laughs> folks. Happy 4th of July. That's a, that's a beautiful paint job. We're rocking out to a little Bruno Mars on this 4th in the hearse, the mean green machine. Oh my goodness. And of course the theme this year is veterans yes. and they say thanks to our vets. Brunswick Search and Rescue here now serving Brunswick and surrounding counties for 20 years assisting law enforcement and locating lost or missing people. The team completed more than 350 searches. Their members and canines are all volunteer and ready in a moment's notice. They've assisted geographic specialists in locating colonial unmarked graves and they provide educational opportunities to groups upon request. Their canines trained by their handlers. They also say they have people who specialize in tracking navigation drone operations. 
We've got the St. James Fire Department next. Engine 3773 is a new 2019 Pierce pumper just wow. put into service by the St. James Fire Department. It was necessary, they say, because of the tremendous growth in the town of St. James. A second fire station is now complete and is in service on the west side of town. Chief Dayhill says the St. James Fire Department is an all-volunteer fire department. They have over 80 members operating fire EMS and fire police. They just celebrated their 20th anniversary. And they say they respond to over a thousand calls a year in St. James and surrounding Brunswick County. Lots to celebrate in St. James on this 4th of July, the 243rd birthday of America. Check this out, this classic, classic truck. Oh, thank oh an American you. flag's coming our way. Hey, oh, well, there we go. Tell her I said hi. <laughs> the bandits. We just got some flags here. Oh, there we us. go. We like that. Yeah, there are you a group the of bandits musicians here. who play at local nursing and healthcare facilities and public and private events. Some of the places they play include Brunswick Cove Living Center, Caroline Assisted Living, Dozier Hospital, mm -hmm. Southport Health and Rehab Center, and Universal Healthcare. The music that they're playing, Gabe, mm -hmm. is from the 50s through the 70s, and they say they throw some lively new songs in there. So maybe they, I don't know what that means, if that's the 80s. Or if we're they, talking, they, 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 I don't know. They might, they might do a little Nirvana, perhaps. A little smells like Teen Spirit. Eh, perhaps. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Southport Lions Club. They're raffling off an 18-foot boat, and they do it every year. This has been their primary fundraiser for the last 57 years. I bought my tickets already. <laughs> now, will you give me an extra ticket in? Okay. No. I'm. All right. F fair enough. Fair enough. We'll, we'll, we'll haggle the price. <laughs> all right. We'll. Do, Okay, I'll do that. Right now? All right. Oh, fair enough. We'll hold up the parade. All right. Lots to talk about. This okay. their primary. Uh, obviously hard to hear with the roadsters behind, but yes. this uh, this raffle their primary uh, fundraiser the last 57 year charted in 1945 by some prominent folks here in Southport. Behind them, Coastal Carolina submarine veterans. Their purpose to perpetuate the memory of our shipmates who gave their lives in the pursuit of their duties while serving our country, that their dedication, deeds, and supreme sacrifices be a constant source of motivation toward greater accomplishments. Great to have them here. They also provide a chance for, for all submariners to gather together. They're committed to educating people about the service their submarine brothers performed and how their sacrifices made possible the freedoms and lifestyle that we enjoy today. And we're glad to have them in the 4th of July parade. And next we've got Sudan Van Patrol. They're based in Onslow County with members from New Hanover, Pender, and of course Onslow County. They have 20 members. The unit has performed in parades from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, to Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, to Oxford, North Carolina, a lot in between. Oh and they say they've enjoyed each and every one. And Gabe is getting out there to yes! high five them, nicely done. And you Don't. did that without even interrupting. Oh, oh, they're coming back for more. Oh, here comes another oh. round. Boom. 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 Why do I High feel fives all around. I'll out take here. it. I'll take it. Happy 4th of July. Woo. The Sudan Van Patrol. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh. They continue to support the Shriners. Don't try this at home. Not a good idea. And their motto, of course, is love to the rescue. Nicely I, done. I, I, you didn't even get hit. I didn't get hit. Feet weren't run over. I'm sure I'm guilty of some misdemeanor, though, so I'm sorry if any police officers are watching. Okay, we'll hold you so they can arrest right. you at the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Good to see them, of Share course, once your again. Love. Become a Shriner. Woo. Can, can you imagine I the maintenance it takes to keep all these cars up and running? I, 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 I can't. And I can't imagine the practice it takes to keep that precision going when you have so many other things going on around you. You know, this is not an empty parking lot where they're practicing. Not at all. There are people on the sides, there are people in front of them, there are cameras around, and they're still maintaining that precision. That they are. Hey, check this out, Copper by George. It's in its 16th year of business. He makes one-of-a-kind sculptures and takes custom orders. If you can imagine it, most likely he can make it for you. Some of his well-known works include the Blue Marlin at Provisions or the Big Turtle at the Flying at the Frying Pan Restaurant. Excuse me. Check out George on Facebook or come see him on the island and check out those statues he's got with him today. Is that a jellyfish? That's a jellyfish That's really in, cool to in, in tow, at least on the end of that uh, that pole. And coming up here, we've got the Sudan hillbillies. 
They're made up of Shriners from New Hanover, Columbus, and Brunswick counties. The Hillbillies are actively involved in area parades and civic events to raise money oh my for the goodness. 23 Shriners I'll and do that. for children. Thank you. These Hillbillies have been selected to host the 2019 38th Annual Hillbilly Convention. The convention is set for Wilmington. So great to November. see. A, a pleasure. Of hillbilly a pleasure. Cars like these will participate in the 2019 hey, it's good to see you guys. Wilmington Happy Veterans to you. Parade. You, Hi guys. Of course. The, these guys are from my neck of the woods. Really? Southeast Ohio. This is perfect. They're from Southeast Ohio. This is just perfect. Ohio. I love it. So, Gabe Ross, yes. you're officially one of the hillbillies. I am one of the hillbillies. They're they're from my area, Southeast Ohio. That's amazing. Well, I guess hillbillies are really from anywhere. But I'll take it. They can be, so there are hills. <laughs> <laughs> and not to and be outdone. <laughs> Good to see you folks. Happy Fourth of July. And there's a hedgehog or a possum. No, they in the hills. Well, you would know. I would. Uh, is it a possum or a hedgehog? Um, it would be a possum. Excellent. We've, we've evolved to actually figure out the correct name of species now, <laughs> so it's okay. <laughs> Next, we've got Novant Health. They're proud to sponsor the North Carolina 4th of July Festival. In the parade, we see team members from Novant Health Brunswick Medical Center, Novant Health Family Medicine Pine Forest, and several more from Novant Health's numerous locations in Brunswick County. You can find them online at novanthealth.org. And here comes... Claire Emma Britt, 2019 North Carolina Azalea Festival Princess. She's the daughter of Edwin and Renee Britt, a senior at Hoggard High School, where she's a member of the National Honor Society and serves as a tutor for the state program. Claire Emma, a two-sport varsity athlete in both soccer and basketball, as an ambassador for the Substance Misuse Awareness Project, she helps to lead a campaign that protects against the misuse of opioids in hopes of saving lives in her city. Glad we to have need her. all the help we can get. Absolutely. Southern Views Window and Siding is coming along. They're a North Carolina native-owned business based here in Southport. From windows, siding, and roof replacements to complete remodel jobs, they stand ready to help. They say customers are assured quality consultative, consultative services and full attention during the work. Here come our friends from the U.S. Open King Mackerel Tournament. The Southport Oak Island Chamber of Commerce produces a full slate of events, including the King Mackerel Tournament. This year, it's set for October 3rd through 5th. Riding the float is the only two-time champion, Dieter Cardwell and his Tideline crew. They won over $108,000 for a 37.2-pound King Mackerel last year. And believe it or not, that's actually the smallest winner since 1981. But he was the biggest prize winner in the history of the tournament. It overall has a $2 million impact on the community. Next, we've got the Sudan Keystone Cops. They're a Shriner unit based in Jacksonville, North Carolina. The unit is 20 members strong. They participate in a lot of parades and events all along the North Carolina coast, raising money for the Shriner hospitals across the U.S. What's in for? <laughs> what's and in, what's now we're going to find out what kind of not being a nice guy i'm told what's it what's not being a nice guy oh that's why he's well, behind he bars be in jail well. for that and they've added a new bus and a go-kart <laughs> mini bikes also music and illegal dancing for for bail money yeah so maybe you could help them out and it helps out maybe you could get a job here with island bicycles a locally owned and veteran operated small business that is south brunswick's destination for bicycle sales merchandise service and rentals located on long beach road island bicycles is convenient to both southport and oak island the Cape Fear Yacht Club was founded in 1994 in Southport. It offers organized cruising, kayak, and fishing activities and social and educational events. The Cape Fear Yacht Club Youth Sailing Program, along with Oak Island Parks and Recreation, promotes youth sailing with six one-week sailing instructional classes with Opti and 420-class sailboats. One of the Cape Fear Yacht Club's purposes is to foster educational programs for the training of amateur yachtsmen in the science of seamanship and navigation. The Cape Fear Youth Sailing Program started in 1996, so just a couple years after they launched the Yacht Club. Here's a man who's proud to be an American. David Gills, the proud father of two sons, one of which an Army Iraq veteran, his other son an active Army soldier serving right now in Iraq. David Gill says his family stands proud as they've served in World War I, World War II, and the Vietnam War, in which they lost an 18-year-old cousin. And that service includes all branches of the military. An honor to have him in this year's Fourth of July festivities. Cape Fear Fitness 
and CrossFit Southport are locally owned and operated. They have over 8,000 square feet and they serve beginners and seasoned athletes. <laughs> And they have some cutting edge cardio and weight training equipment at competitive rates, they say. They all look like they're ready to work out in a really patriotic way on this Thursday, July 4th, 2019. They teach group fitness classes, <laughs> such as I'll never Zumba, be a professional fitness TRX, model. spinning yoga, kickboxing. <laughs> They also have certified personal trainers, nutrition counseling, and clean eats meals. Hey, that's what I need to do, clean eats. I'll never be a professional <laughs> fitness model, folks. I liked the juxtaposition, though, of yeah. you against the trainer. I'm the before I mean, picture, they're the after <laughs> picture. It's the best it's way to look inspiring. at it. inspiring. Right? Pride Landscape Maintenance is here with us. Landscape company based out of Southport. Great to have them alongside. Give them a call for all your landscaping needs. Oak Island Evangelical Presbyterian Church located on East Oak Island Drive. They want to say happy birthday, America, and wish everyone a safe and happy 4th of July. They invite you to join them for worship if you're inclined at 8.15 or 10.30 every Sunday morning. Happy 4th to you. Some of the floats this year are just really spectacular. The time that it takes to assemble these. Yeah. Many, many hours, folks. Caldwell Banker Seacoast Advantage, one of those companies working on their floats. 20 locations locally, including two in Southport, one in Oak Island. They say they've been the number one real estate company here for 19 consecutive years. They've had over $1.7 billion in closed volume for 2018. And they say they appreciate everyone's support. And happy 4th of July. No doubt they have some listings available that you may be interested in. And they say, God bless America yes. right now. And just behind them, we've got the Sudan Suits. They're a parade unit of Sudan Shriners International. They say they're on a mission from God. <laughs> and I think that's a reference to the Blues Brothers, Gabe. They support Shriners Hospitals for Children. And they're on Segways, of course, dressed as the Blues Brothers. Elwood! I didn't see Elwood, I'm sorry. <laughs> Check out that limousine. That's cruising around town in style. Somebody scream. Somebody scream. We're not going to do that because our audio engineer would be really mad at us. <laughs> but the crowd is doing a great job. They will. Hey, check out our friends from Jammin 99.9, one of the sponsors of the parade. WKXB, their call letters, a rhythmic oldies station broadcasting here in the Lower Cape Fear. Great to have them in the parade. You know, for real, I see these guys in my apartment complex all the time. One of their uh, employees happens to work uh, at the TV station. And so he drives the and truck home. so he home. drives the truck home. So I get to see that every once in a while, which is nice. We've got Brunswick Community College Foundation. They support student success by creating opportunities for excellence. From welding to nursing, BCC offers a variety of programs, opening doors of possibility to students. Now offering free tuition and no fees for eligible students through the Brunswick Guarantee Scholarship Program. You can learn more by visiting brunswickcc.edu. <laughs> Excuse me, that's what I get for having burritos. <laughs> Discover <laughs> NC Homes, your neighborhood real estate broker. Terrible joke, I'm sorry. Serving Brunswick County and the Wilmington area <laughs> since 2017. They say they can help sell or find an investment home, forever home or home site. They also operate a full service rental agency. You are my idol, oh, Gabe Ross. Bless you, Rachel. <laughs> Anytime you can work in a good flatulence <laughs> joke. It okay. wouldn't be the 4th of July without it, right, right. friends? There are going to be lots of explosions throughout the day That's and evening. That's true. Well, speaking of toots, here comes the Boiling Spring <laughs> Lakes fire truck. You see that coming. Fire rescue <laughs> engine. Great to see you. I've lost Rachel, folks. There you go. Engine 473. 473. Friends and family high atop the truck. Happy 4th of July to you, folks. It looks cooler up there. It does. Although, I guess the higher up in the atmosphere, whew, oh. there's more direct rays of sunlight. Yeah. yeah. Brunswick Electric Membership Corp Corporation, they're locally owned and operated. They have been providing safe, reliable power to members throughout Brunswick and Columbus counties for the past 80 years. But first, we've got the Sudan Steel Drum Band. Yaman, yeah, getting a little groove on the 4th of July. I like it. I like it a lot. I can feel the Caribbean breeze. Right? It's helped. It's certainly helped a little bit, that's for sure. Now here is the Brunswick that's, Electric that's Membership it. Corporation. 
sometimes the uh, floats like to switch places on us every That's once right. in a while. It yeah. happens. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Behind them, Bolivia Fire Department, engine 771. You see them coming up in tow on your screen. This is an E1 fire engine. It holds up to 1,500 gallons of water. They want to thank the city of Southport and their staff for their time and dedication. Chief Marcus Crisco in charge there, wanting to wish his family and everyone a happy 4th of July. Important to do. And we've got the whole family there, it looks like. Oh, a couple yeah. of kids in the back. Probably room for the Dalmatian, too, if they could squeeze them in. But no dog in this one. It's OK. Happy 4th of July. We've got a beautiful float by Leaf Filter, the nation's leading gutter protection company that highlights their support of breast cancer families in this community. Riding on the float, the little pink houses of hope and some breast cancer families that have been served through the nonprofit organization that provides free week-long vacations for breast cancer families happy in Oak Island you. and Great Carolina Beach. Great to see you. Wishing us all a happy 4th of July. All right, we're going to pause real quick.